Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems that help you win big no matter what sport you're betting on. So before we get into our NBA picks for this weekend, I want you to look at the uh, top performing automated systems. So again, if you're not a VIP club member, you need to join so you have access to this and all the other great tools. You see top performing automated systems. You scroll down through here, you'll see different ways that you can uh, select your sport, rugby in this case, or baseball. And for this video, you'd want to do basketball, uh, profit time, profit method. If you go down through here, you see uh, the position number, one, two, et cetera, the system name, a bunch of different details, updated, win rate, et cetera, and a bunch of other numbers, depending on what you're interested in looking at, average square deviation, trust factor percentage, ROI percentage, and most important for most of us is profit. So again, you take a look at this and pick the one that is best for you. So now we're going to take a look at some of the matchups here for January the 4th as the NBA schedule is pretty much reached the halfway point of the season. There's gonna be a lot of interesting matchups here. So let's take a look at the first matchup. We're going to uh, scroll down here to the Toronto Raptors and the Brooklyn Nets. In this Atlantic Division battle, the second place Raptors take on the fourth place Nets. Toronto won the first meeting between the teams this season. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups on December 14th by 110-10 to score as a home favorite. If you look at their status right now, Toronto is average, having won three out of their last six. The Nets are ice cold down. You can see they're currently on a three-game losing streak and have lost four out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Toronto is on a downward trend. They still have a plus 19 to plus 16 advantage over New Jersey. Take a look at the totals predictor. If you're considering the over-under, Toronto is playing in games trending under the line. If you look at the red line compared to the blue line, New Jersey is playing in games trending under the line as well. So betting the under is a pretty wise choice in this one. If you want to see how stable the two teams are, meaning how well are they performing according to their favorite and underdog status, you will see that Toronto is at plus 17, much more stable than Brooklyn at plus one, which means that do not pay too close of attention to the favorite underdog status for Brooklyn when betting, but the Toronto for Toronto, that is a very important factor. Toronto right now is 9-6 and six on the road. Brooklyn is 9-6 and six at home. Um, Brooklyn could put up a, a strong fight in this one for a while, but in the end, Toronto is the better team, and they will come out with the victory. Take a look at another matchup here, the Indiana Pacers and the Atlanta Hawks. The Pacers come in second in the Central Division. They are 7-9 and nine on the road. The Hawks are last in the Southeast Division. They are only 5-12 and 12 at home. You see that uh, Indiana has average status at the moment. They have won three out of their last six, coming off an impressive win over Philadelphia. Atlanta is dead up. They have lost five out of their last six. They did win their last one, 101-93 over Orlando. Look at the power ranking indicator. Notice that Atlanta is all the way at the bottom at zero. Indiana was at plus 25 back on December 27th, and they are now down to plus 18. That is still a large advantage for them. If you take a look at the head to head matchups so far this season, Indiana has won, uh, let's see, they won both meetings. Yes, they won in overtime, 105 104, and they also won on the road, 110 to 100 both as favorites. If you're considering the over and under, take a look at this. Indiana is playing in the games trending pretty well under the line. And Atlanta is playing in games trending just under the line. So I think betting the under is a pretty wise decision for this game. And we take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable have the two teams been? Atlanta is very stable at plus 22. And considering they're going to be an underdog in this one, it's a very safe bet to pick Indiana. Indiana will be 3-0 for the season against Atlanta after this one is all said and done. Now we'll take a look at the Charlotte Hornets and the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks enter play second in the Southwest Division, and the Hornets are third in the Southeast Division. If you take a look here, Charlotte is dead at the moment. They just have been playing terrible basketball, losing their last six. 
Dallas has averaged down. They have lost their last two, but they have won three out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the, the swift downward trend for Charlotte. They were at plus 14 just a couple weeks ago, and they are down to plus four. Dallas has dropped from plus 23 to plus 17, but they still have a significant advantage. If considering the over and under, like we usually do, you can see that Charlotte is playing in games trending over the line. And you can see that uh, Dallas is trending in games over the line as well. You want to take a look here at how stable the two teams are. Neither team is extremely stable. I mean, they're relatively stable. They are in the positive, plus 8 to plus 5. But there are other factors more important for these two teams than just looking at the favorite underdog stats. You can look at it, but take it you know, a little bit more lightly when considering which team to bet for. So Dallas is a better overall talent. And really, they're playing at home. And Charlotte really has very little chance in this one. So they should come away with a home win rather easily. Take a look at this matchup here. This is the best matchup of the day, I believe. The San Antonio Spurs at the Milwaukee Bucks. You see that both teams are burning hot at the moment. San Antonio winning their last two and four out of their last six. Milwaukee, after their loss to Philadelphia, has won their last three and five out of their last six. The Spurs are just four and ten on the road, though. Um, Milwaukee has the best record in the NBA. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, they have not played yet this season. If you look at the power ranking indicator, clearly Milwaukee is significantly better at plus 28, although San Antonio has been on a pretty decent upswing. They're back up to plus 16. If you consider the, the uh, favorite underdog status, let's take a look at how stable the two teams are. Milwaukee is extremely stable at plus 25. San Antonio is showing stability at plus 13, but being that Milwaukee is home and, and will be the home fair, that's a significant factor for betting in this one. You want to look at the over under. Look at this. San Antonio is playing in games well over the line, the red compared to the blue. Milwaukee is playing in games trending under the line, however, but, but just slightly. So I would actually consider betting the over on this one. As far as who's going to win the, the ball game, the Spurs could hold tough for a while, but in the end, the Bucks are just too, too good, too talented, and they will win this one rather easily when all is said and done at the very end. The last game we want to look at is this, the New Orleans Pelicans and the Sacramento Kings. New Orleans is burning hot. They have won five out of their last six. Sacramento is dead, having lost their last six. Uh, the Pelicans are just five and 12 on the road, however, but Sacramento is just six and nine at home. And they are fourth in the Pacific, and the Pelicans are last in the Southwest. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you'll see the teams trending in opposite directions. New Orleans was down at plus two, and Sacramento was at plus nine just the day after Christmas, and now it's, the tides have changed. New Orleans is plus 11, and Sacramento is at plus one. If you're looking at the over and under, New Orleans is trending under the line in their matchups, and Sacramento is trending over, so Usually when the teams are trending on opposite sides of the line, I say to avoid the over-under, unless it's one is a lot more extreme over or more extreme under than the other. But in this case, I would say probably avoid betting the over-under. You look at the stability. Sacramento plus four, relatively stable, not extremely stable. And New Orleans a bit more stable at plus eight. So take more consideration with the over uh, the favorite underdog status, excuse me, for New Orleans. I expect the hot trend to continue for the Pelicans, even though they're on the road. I think they will come away with a road victory in this one. So there you have it. Those are all the games that we want to take a look at for January the 4th, 2020. Remember, you're, remember, if you're not already a member, please join. You will have access to all these tools and you will make bets more consistently correct and you will win more money every single time. Have a great day and we will see you next week.